this is the safe room where the humans should spawn on my map. This is my map of Clifford Lull. Lull. Anyway, uh, here is one of each weapon. They do not respawn once you pick it up. And you will spawn with a uh, magnum. And your shield do not recharge unless you have a regenerator. Throw that. And uh, it's meant to be stuck together. That way uh, you don't abandon each other because you need the regenerator to keep each other's health up. As you can see, one of these weapons, each person will grab one, specialize in each class, sniper, SMG, assault rifle, and shotgun. Uh, you'll run about this speed through the level, meaning that way the level feels like it's a bit longer. Um, this is a storage room, would be like a little warehouse, pretty area. It'd be where you'd get your second pistol, but that would not be game type. Oh yeah, back, uh, by the way, back in the, uh, safe room, the zombies cannot get in from the outside, because there's a shield door blocking the pallet, and you leave the safe room whenever you feel like you're ready, like, you can melee it open, and you can share with the rest of your team. Anyway, uh, you have a lot of higher gravity, meaning you can only jump to the outside, uh, so, that way you can get in and out of buildings easier. Way I've set it up. There are some pipe bombs and mall cops hidden all over the level. One of them is right here. Uh, it is a represents the pipe bomb and everything. Uh, here's one of the areas where the humans will spawn because it's supposed to be kind of like one of those closet rooms. Open them up. I know it's also an area where a zombie will spawn. And you'd be running through the level either having two people running up on the scaffolding, the other people just running down there. We were planning to cut through an apartment building and make it uh, to farm area so you can be picked up by the military, but apparently a tank is like thrown far in front of your way, so you have to end up taking the subway down here, which, oh look, there has to be a very convenient to place ammo cache. Great for us. Uh, half the tunnel is supposed to be like a flat. Some expected will spawn in here depending on where you are on the map. They won't spawn right on you. But uh, they'll probably either come from that way or somewhere in the train depending where you are. I mean, they won't like spawn a couple feet away from you and just assassinate you. Here's a Molotov. Uh, fight the zombies up if you want. It's supposed to be like uh, the subway ran out of power because the power grid of the city pretty much went out except for a couple of lights. So up here, you're in the basement of one of the buildings used to get uh, lifted out. Take the started elevator up to the very top level. And here we are on top of the skyscraper and you just gotta spend until the time limit runs out. Uh, depending on when you are playing, uh, over shields will spawn and custom power up traits will spawn. Custom power up traits make some of the zombies a hunter, and the over shields just make the zombies a tank. It just really depends what time it is. The tank only spawns once, but the hunter will spawn about every 45 to 60 seconds. I can't quite remember. And uh, he'll be a bit faster, more agile than the other ones, and he'll be able to get across the level a lot better. And if you follow me again, Dom, I don't think it's a two-way node, sorry. So we'll have to fly all the way back down to the bottom to show the effective side. And down we go, to the underground city. Okay, uh, here's one of the custom power-up traits which would, uh, be determined by the game type you use for it. I'll probably end up posting game type for it on my other account, uh, G.I. Johnny, and end up putting a link to that, maybe. Uh, I've been kind of busy lately. Anyway, uh, custom power-up trait. 
move a lot faster, jump across the building. Then the overshield's down here. Fakes either a boomer tank, whatever you want to call it. It's just a lot stronger. Well, boomer's not stronger. Anyway, you're supposed to be like one of those little pipe scaffoldings or walls that you can climb as you're infected. The humans can't see this area, so it's supposed to be like you're seeing through the eyes of the infected. Uh, where it gives a little flash hand print. You get that, you know, route, and you're all the way up here. It really depends on what game type you're using, or if you get it right. But usually the zombies are a lot lighter than humans, so you'd be able to get it in the first time, no problem. But, uh, yeah, it's basically the majority of the map. Uh, it's kind of quick, short, simple, sweet. Overall, it's pretty good looking. And, uh, it's probably gonna be the first of a three-part series. Next one, probably be an abandoned military base. One after that, probably just some area where you have to hold out, kind of like, uh, normal survival mode, kind of like at the White House. Uh, but, that's the majority of the video, and that should about do it. Hope you guys enjoy. Hot. Hot. What the hell?